Hello, this is Pete, or Kenshin 1913, along with... Mom. And who else? Stella! And we're doing another Cooking with Kenshin 1913. What are we making today, Grandma? Sour cream cake. Oh, yeah. Coffee cake. Okay, so what oh, we're going to use is flour, sugar, baking soda, butter, vanilla, sour cream, um, right. which is the name of the cake, um, cinnamon... And nuts. Now, I'm going, as we're going three, through everything here, I'm going to tell you different ways that you can actually make this. So the uh, batter is the same, but nuts and cinnamon and all of that um, can have variations. All right, so we're putting in two sticks of butter, right, Stella? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, put the other stick in, please. Put the other stick in, because we're going to be creaming this up. Okay. It's okay. Can I do it? Okay, wait. Um, wait and then wait here's a half a cup of That's sugar. That's a cup of sugar. Oh, a cup of sugar. Ooh. And then we're going to add... Can I? Pour yeah. it in. Go ahead. And then we're going to add go. another half a cup. There you go. Here. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -huh. Alright, pour it in. So that's one and a half cups of sugar. Again, all the uh, ingredients will be in the uh, recipe. And now you gotta put two eggs. Can I? Can I? Yeah, let's crack it right here. I didn't get all wet. Oops. Yes, right. dude, Grandma. No, now we're going to cream the butter and milk <gasps> and the I mean butter and eggs and sugar. You got another egg. Hi, it comes right. How did you close your eyes? I didn't get all wet, Grandma. Okay, wipe your hands on the, on the napkin. I didn't get all wet. That's good. Next thing we're going to add is our vanilla, one teaspoon. Oh, can I? Yes, wait one minute. And can I dip it? Go ahead. Now can I turn it on? Can I turn it on? Please? A long time it goes back to my grandmother what? and my mother that, and my sugar? grandmother used to use walnuts walnuts and apples, apples and, and my mother would use um, almonds so I'm gonna almonds. actually gonna use almond nuts almond and nuts. then I'll explain a little bit further on how each one would uh, prepare Ooh, it. Awesome. So here's one cup of flour. I'm putting it in a separate bowl. And I, I, watch your heads, Lily. Don't put your fingers in there. No. Okay. Hi, Another that. cup of flour. Okay. Thank you. Now we're going to put the baking powder. Oh, can I put the baking powder in? Yes. We're going to put. One teaspoon. Wait a minute, we gotta get the teaspoon. Okay. One teaspoon of baking powder. Oh, how about the big one? You don't got a string, we're right here. I can't reach. Oh, you wanna use that? That's all oh, right. Oh, that's, that's okay. okay. The next time we'll use next it. Time. Come on over here. Now we gotta put in some a little salt. bit of salt. You have Can to put I? in just a pinch. Mm -hmm. Okay, you put a pinch. You put a pinch. Just a pinch. Just a little pinch. That's it. See? Good You're girl. doing good. Okay. What is this called? This is flour. Now oh, we're... can I stir? Mm. Watch your head, gonna... Stelly. Watch your head. Can I stir? Go ahead. Easy, easy. Okay. All right. Yeah, Very so... good. Very good. 
Okay. You're stirring the dry, and then we're going to slowly add in the wet. We're going to add it into here. A little bit at a time, right? Mm -hmm. Right, Stella? But yeah, we haven't been around in a while, and we apologize for that. We're going to get back into it. Don't you worry. Now we're going to get a cup of sour cream. All right, now we're hey. adding a cup of sour cream. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. It looks like yogurt. It looks like yogurt, it does. So a, ha a cup is about a half of the pint. Can I dip it in? You want to put the rest of the flour in, right? And then we're going to put the flour. We're going to add the rest and let's see how yeah. kind of creamy that has come with the... Oh, can I? oven to 350 degrees. Yep, and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to prepare our pan. Now usually this is made in a bun pan or um, an angel food pan, which is this here. And most angel food pans, the bottom comes out. So we're going to grease this well um, before we put the um, batter in. So we're going to grease our pan up really good so our cake doesn't. Now you could use, I'm using Crisco, um, but you could use butter. Oh, can I use, can I do it? Yep, wait a minute, let Grandma start it, okay? And then you could do some, okay? Yeah, so you want to make sure to get all the crevices. Now can I? Yep, wait a minute. Yeah, this is a tricky pan to uh, grease. Are you done? Can I do it? Some angel food pans, um, the bottoms don't come out. Right. So, Here's go ahead, you spoon. try it. Yep. Go ahead, you try it. Rub it, rub, rub it, it, rub it. Like yeah. this, back and yep, forth. Yep, yep, back yep. Back and forth. Yep. That's right. You're doing such a good job. Thank you for helping. Okay, what I'm going to have Stella do is to mix some cin cinnamon and sugar together. Um, because that's what we're going to sprinkle on top of the cake and in the middle. Oh, can I sprinkle on top? Watch yeah. out, watch out. We're gonna Put some in there. Top. So just take a, you know, maybe a half a cup or so. Um, can I do it? Yeah, and we're going to do so this one. There. Watch, okay? Now you got to do like this. Get your spoon. Get your spoon. Okay. And you're going to mix it for Grandma, okay? And maybe about... A teaspoon, Ooh, a half that? a teaspoon of I cinnamon. Smell it? Yeah. What's that? That's cinnamon. Cinnamon? Oh, yeah. can I okay. hear Okay, mix it together. Very good. And so you just want to mix this together. Kind of like a snickerdoodle deal. Easy, easy. Easy, easy mixing. Easy, easy. So you okay. want... Go ahead, keep going. You got to get it all easy, 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 easy. Easy, easy. So what you want to do is get a good combination of cinnamon, cinnamon and sugar. And I'm just going to add just a tiny bit more cinnamon. Okay, mix, mix, mix. 28, 29, 30. Oh, very good. All right, keep mixing. All right, great. All right, now let's put this to the side and we're going to use it in a minute, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take probably half of this here 
and spread it in the bottom of the pan. Very nice. So I'm just going to kind of plop it a little bit. So we're spreading this. Now, what my grandmother would do at this point is she would take an apple, she'd peel it, slice it really thin, and she would lay it all around um, the middle. And she would then put the cinnamon, and she used, as I mentioned earlier, walnuts. Mm -hmm. and, and then she would put the walnut and sugar on the top. My mom didn't. She didn't do the apple. She just did the almonds. So I'm going to do that too with this. All right. So we're going to take some of the nuts. These are almonds, slivered almonds. Mm -hmm. You could roast them beforehand if you wanted. But... And we're going to put them around. Easy, easy, easy. easy. One hand, one hand, one hand. Mm -hmm. There you go. Like that. Okay. Put them around. Yeah. Now, if you're not a big fan of nuts for some reason, which I'm not a huge fan of nuts, but I'll probably eat it. You know, as I've gotten older, okay, okay, a little uh, bit, little bit, I've become less and less like, ah, uh, you know, I'm not gonna eat because of this or whatever. I just okay. like, yeah, whatever. Now. But uh, if you're not a fan, that's mock, and you're not. You yeah, you don't have to put. You oh, don't can have to, I? You can put cranberries in it if you want. Ooh, you can put some raisins. Okay, now we're gonna put our sh our cinnamon and sugar. We're gonna sprinkle it can around. I had to do it. Okay, Did sprinkle it around. Up. I know no, you're a big girl. No, no, no. Okay, be careful putting it. Okay, and spread it around. Spread it around. Put some over here. This is the Stella sour cream. Cake. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. That's a, that, Grandma Stella is the one yeah, that Stella. is who who actually made this recipe. Yeah, she came up with it. I don't know if she came up with it, but she always made it. Yeah. And we've been, you know, ever a little since bit more over here. Ever since it's been getting warm or colder out, I know it's it's fall, and uh, we've been uh, we've been pretty much making okay like over here big goods over here. Okay, great. All right, so now that we've added our cinnamon sugar and our nuts, we can put this in there. Yeah, if you don't want to, I mean, honestly, you don't have to add the nuts. Like she, my mom was mentioning, you can put cranberries or whatever. Just put something in the middle. Or just do cinnamon and sugar. Make you don't have, you don't have to do, you yeah, know. Make it a special surprise. That's what you want. Just something. So when you bite into it, in, into the cake, you're like, oh wow, there's something in the middle. That's great. Okay, so here's the the second part. Yeah. We're putting it on, and we're just kind of scooting it around. So here we are. Now is this going to rise up like an angel food cake? No, no. Is it gonna this is more, it's more, it, it's, uh, it's um, a coffee cake. So yeah. it, it's on the, more on the, the line of like a bread, a breadish, yeah. you know, like if you made a nut bread or pumpkin bread, banana yeah, bread. Nice. Um, oh, you're going to put. So you're going to, I'm going to add a few more on the top. You're gonna sprinkle nuts on top too. Mm-hmm. It, it's good. They're it's good. All right. It's all right. You know what? I've I've uh, come. Like, you know, I said, man, nuts. They're not. Mm -hmm. Rather than not have them, but they're not like a deal breaker anymore. Although it's so much, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not sure allergic. Obviously, don't put them on. If you're allergic to nuts, don't put them on. Yeah. Right. So you're just gonna sprinkle this in, and like we mentioned before, 350 degree oven. We're gonna throw this in. And uh, yeah, for about an hour, the 50 to 60 minutes, we'll come back and look at it. Okay, we just took it out of the oven. And as you can see, it looks beautiful. Uh -huh. um, it's got a little bit of the crack on the top. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna let it sit for a little bit and we'll come back and I'll, I'll run a knife around here. Right. This will come out and then uh, hopefully it'll come out of the tube. Right, correctly yeah. as well okay um, so this has been cooling for about 10 15 minutes I'm taking my Offset plain spatula. Spl spatula and just going around the sides yeah unfortunately uh, Stella's not here anymore she went home with her mommy she'll be back tomorrow yeah she'll have a piece of this not a problem. 
Okay. Now let's hope and pray that this comes out. Let's see. Let's see. Ah! We got it! Look at this beautiful cake! So now that's gonna that sit for a little while. It's gotta sit even more? Yeah, because you can't cut it when, mm. when it's hot. It'll crumble all up. All right, we're back, and yeah, the cake looks a little different. That's because I did the stupid thing. We tried to get it out, but um, we didn't we didn't grease it enough. And I figured, oh, let's try letting gravity do the work, and then gravity took off all the deliciousness on top. But that's all right, we put most of it back. So let's take a cut, Ma. Let's cut it and see what it's like. Yeah, unfortunately. It's still a little warm, yeah, so. Yeah, unfortunately we couldn't, um, we really couldn't, uh, Couldn't get it out. You know, Stella was here. I'm not blaming her, but we should have done a better job of uh, of uh, greasing the bottom. This is why maybe if you use a different you pan, could you could also use parchment on the bottom. Go ahead. And yeah, you want to use? Look how beautiful. Let's look at the inside of the cake first. Look how lovely. So you can see the. Hold on. Yeah, look at how lovely that came out. Beautiful piece. Nice. It's very nice and moist. All right, so here's our sour cream coffee cake. As you can see, we got the middle. It's lovely. A lot of almonds. I still need to get it out of the tube. <laughs> yeah. Stella, thank you for helping, by the way. Mmm. -hmm. That's nice and moist with the sour cream. You taste that? You got some of the nuts here. It's lovely with a cup of coffee oh, yeah. or a cup of tea. Yeah, I'm debating whether to call this a sour cream coffee cake or just a sour cream cake when I when I do it later. But yeah, this is really good. And uh, even come up with various variations on it wouldn't be too bad either, right? Mm-hmm. So, this has been another delicious recipe. Expect more from us. We're getting back into it. I've been Pete and Kenshin1913 along with Mom. And this has been another Cooking with Kenshin1913. Enjoy and happy eating.